thinking I'm gonna make like three or four. I don't know how many you think will fit across. In here? Yeah. A pump. Okay, so they're gonna be about that big. Put it down on there and see. I could put one, two, three, four, at least five. Going to make this avocado salsa cream to go on these taquitos and we're going to start with a fresh avocado and we're going to add in some of this salsa verde and this sour cream and I left the avocado a little chunky because I like it and that way if Red doesn't like it he can always just pick that out but I'm going to add some of this salsa that we got the other day, this cantina medium. This stuff is really, really good. Give it a little bit of extra spice. I guess I could put some like chili powder and stuff in it too. Just yeah. make some salt for sure. So we're frying these down in some lard that we brought from home on our bottle. And they'll get crispy. We're gonna have some little taquitos, ah, fried tacos. <laughs> with the cream sauce on top. What's your prediction of this breakfast? Oh, I think it's gonna be delicious. I mean, look at this view. We used a low carb tortilla to make me try to keep it keto. And they're having a little bit of an issue staying together. Not terrible, but they're not as good as the regular ones. And the meat I cooked before we left in a pressure cooker with some like a chipotle taco seasoning. One of those sauce things that you get in a pack. Cook that in the pressure cooker and shredded it and then froze it. So that way it would be ready whenever we were ready to cook this. We've been supposed to be cooking this for like three days, but we end up stopping at brew pubs and eating burgers instead. <laughs> This is your recipe. We just ketoized it. Semi win. They're good, but not as good as they could be. Not as good as if you got it at a Mexican restaurant. Look at that. That's awesome. Astoria Hot Springs, which is a privately owned hot springs near Jackson. They have different sessions. And we chose to get the 12 o'clock session. They only allow so many people in at one time. So we're in the river pool, which I thought would overlook the Snake River, but it doesn't. It's just by the river. Yeah, it's the closest one to the river. They have all different kinds. They have a waterfall pool and they have a meadow pool, a little kid's pool, which, you know, there's kids here. So but hopefully the kids stay with their parents over there. It's a really great place. It's beautiful. Look at the view from the hot spring. How awesome is that? Do you think this one's hotter? I think this one's hotter. But maybe because we just got out and the wind was blowing on our wet bodies. I don't know. It's like you get in and it felt kind of burning. Yeah, it's like it might have more sulfur in this area maybe. too. You think that would make it bad? Yeah. How cool is that? This goes and feeds the next pool. We're in the meadow pool. You can't see it because of these grasses, but there's a little meadow behind. That looks over the mountain. You see the mountain there?
Well, here we are at Granite Creek in the Bridger Teton National Forest. There is a hot spring that the National Forest Service owns at the end of this road. And they open at 10 and it's only about $8. Oh, it does cost. Yeah, it does cost. Oh, I told him I thought it was free. No, no, unfortunately, okay. no. It's $8 and you only get to soak for an hour, but you know, I'm sure it's probably not great. It is just like a cement pool, according to the description. But today we went to Astoria Hot Springs and that it was a pretty nice place privately owned a bunch of different pools but you had to make a reservation and you had only a two and a half hour soak time it was twenty dollars well actually it was eighteen dollars and we don't really feel that we lost out on money because we soaked for about an hour and a half and then we got to take a shower fix the hair <laughs> just really just nice shower nice shower and when we took a shower the other day in Moab, it was eight dollars a person for a shower. So I feel that twenty dollars for a hot spring and a shower is pretty economical. Yeah, that wasn't a bad deal at all. I, I don't. Shower was uh, hot, plenty of water, no time limit. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was great, and the hot spring was nice. They had a bunch of different pools. Only thing kind of discouraging about it, you know, people bring a lot of kids and. That's fine. You know, we're past those days. Yeah, so we're past it. It's fine. I mean, the kids didn't really bother me. No, we just moved out. Of, when they came into one we're in, we moved Sorry, to a different pool. This is fair country. There's a lot of huckleberry bushes already with berries. I'm hopeful that no bears come. Yeah, the guy next to us from mm -hmm. Colorado, they stayed in Colorado last night, and a bear attacked their car and broke his door handle off. Yeah, so scary. They're sleeping in a ground tent. <laughs> So tonight I think we're going to cook a burrito bowl with some of that leftover beef that we had for our taquitos this morning. Oh, that beef is so good. Yes, it is. So Same the cooking guy hooked us up. Finish that off. Had a lot of that sauce left, so I'm just going to fry down some collie rice with some onions and some peppers and mix that, <laughs> mix that meat in there. That's our friends. Open Road for two. Check them out on Instagram and YouTube. They have a... Tacoma with a super Pacific, which looks like ours. Uh, they they're out in California. Awesome people, very friendly, very nice people. Just gonna enjoy my little keto drink. It's a sparkling ice lemonade with some grapefruit flavored. What was it? Tito's? No, it was uh, Eddie. Oh, Deep Eddie, deep grapefruit Eddie. flavor. What you have? I just have a uh, the fruit punch with a little rum. It's not keto. Mm the rum's got no 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 all that shit's keto friendly <laughs> okay whatever i'm good with it so just hanging out sitting at the campsite these are my favorite type of campsites because you have a view on one side of the truck and then there's the view of the river on the other side of the truck, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. But then I'd have to get up. I'm feeling pretty relaxed. Contemplating taking a nap. I think he is sleeping over there. Oh. Okay, so we're going to use the pie irons. If you remember, I bought these pie irons a couple of weeks ago, and we really haven't even gone camping since we bought them. We haven't been able to use them. So I thought that it would be a really good idea to bring them on this trip. And then I found this Suntella chocolate sunflower spread sweetened with monk fruit. So that means keto. It only has two net carbs for two tablespoons. So that's keto Nutella. And then we also have found these, these jams. Good, good. They're also keto friendly. We've had the blueberry one and this is strawberry. They're not as thick as a regular jelly, 
they're a little bit more runny. I guess the pectin doesn't set up as well. See, you can see how it's kind of runny. It's okay though. I mean, if you're eating peanut butter and jelly, you don't care. I don't know what this Nutella stuff is gonna taste like though. Haven't had it yet. Haven't even opened the jar. We found it the day we were buying all the stuff to get ready to go on the trip. And then we left the next day, so I didn't get a chance to uh, eat it. It says that you gotta stir it up. Okay, moment of truth. Do you wanna taste this with me or you want me to just... Uh, you taste. I'll be the taste tester this time. All right, so it's a little bit runny because you gotta mix up the oil. But I think you have to refrigerate it after you open it so it'll get hard and then you'll never be able to get anything out. It's like the natural peanut butter. But hey, it's worth it. It tastes like Nutella. Oh, that is so good. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> so I have the Sola bread, which you all know that we like to eat because it's keto bread and it's the best of the ones that we've had so we've been enjoying sandwiches and things on this trip which has been so nice so convenient we've probably eaten eaten more sandwiches than anything else which i mean it's nice it's convenient but sometimes you want to eat some real food so i'm just putting the Nutella on one piece of bread and then I'm gonna put the jelly on the other. Then I'm going to mash it together and put it on the pie iron. So I just put the Nutella on and now I'm putting the strawberry jelly on. This jelly looks weird. Like, I don't know, maybe they pureed it, I don't know. Let's see how it looks. sure it's gonna taste fine. Spray it like that so that it'll help the bread to get toasty. You can also spray the bread too. And then you squish it together, you lock it in place, and then you put it on the fire. He just thought he was ready to eat his little sandwich. It's still too hot. Holy crap. It is really hot. That jelly turned to magma on fire. By the time we're able to eat it, it's going to be nothing but mush. While we wait for our liquid hot magma sandwiches to cool off, I forgot to tell you guys about this fire pit. We actually found this little guy at Albertsons, a grocery store in our area and it was on sale for only $100. It's so much smaller than the one we used to have. And this is our first time really using it. What do you think, you like it? I like it. Yeah, it's been pretty good and it takes up so much less room in the camper, which is great. And we had a forest ranger come by earlier and he said that it was perfectly fine to use this since it runs on propane. They don't have a fire restriction yet, but they said on July 1st they will. Okay, so you ready? You better be careful, it might come shooting out. Be careful. This is pretty good. The jelly reminds me of like jelly in a jelly donut. That's kind of what it like is reminding me of a chocolate donut with jelly in it. Yep. Well, I like those. Well, what did you think about the hot pocket Nutella and jelly? Pretty good. Like you said, it tastes like a chocolate donut. I like that Nutella. Oh, I forgot to say that stuff is eight dollars and ninety-nine cents. It's ridiculously expensive. But if you really want Nutella, it's very similar in tech texture and taste. It's really good. Now we just have to hide it from our kids, those people that live at our house. Because well, they find it, if they find it, it's gone. He already ate all the other keto jelly that we bought. <laughs> that stuff is not cheap. And he don't eat keto, but he sure eat our keto food. <laughs> so we're going to hang out here, enjoy the 
evening. Sun's just setting. Going well, behind, well, it's going behind the mountains. Yeah. We're probably not going to set for another you know, four hours or whatever. And just enjoy the babbling river. Is that the Snake River? No. It's not the Snake River. No, this this is Granite Creek. Granite Creek. Oh my God. So we will see you in the morning. Good night. Well, we decided not to go to the Granite Hot Spring. It doesn't open until 10 and it's nine o'clock right now and we've already had coffee and packed up and we're just kind of ready to go. So we're heading to Jackson and we're going to try to get some service up there. Look to see if Ethan has texted us uh, saying he's got a campsite, do some laundry, get a little bit of groceries, and some new beer or ciders or something, something to drink. We've drank all the Bud Light that we bought back in Utah. There's still one left. Oh, there's one left? Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, our, our little liquor cabinet is getting deplenished pretty quick, so we need to get a little bit more. Arner is a very small town with very expensive prices. Yeah, one little tiny grocery store. Yeah, they have like one little store. grocery store, which is a nice grocery store, but you know, not a lot of selection. These people put up a Karen, Karen, however you say that, in the driveway to a campsite so that no one else could go down there and share the campsite with them. It's like a triple spot, plenty of room for probably like five or six tents. I thought he was gonna go knock it down, but I guess he changed his mind. We decided to make a stop at Grand Teton National Park. We're here at the Tetons. Look how beautiful that is back there. We're heading up to Yellowstone now. God, look at that. Just look how beautiful that is. This is a great spot for a picnic lunch. Oh, this was perfect. This spot was like beautiful. This is the view from the back of the truck. Jackson Lake and the Tetons. We always stop at this lookout every time we come this way. But this year, they have a sign that says the trail was closed due to bear activity. And a little ways down the parking lot, they have a bear exhibit, which we're about to go check out. And not real bears though. I mean, there's real bears. They're just <laughs> taxidermy bears, not live bears. Thank God. I thought it was live when we drove up. I saw, all I saw was the bear in the parking lot. I didn't see the trailer or the rangers or anything. So I was like, oh shit, there's a bear. There's a bear. <laughs> so now that we're in the Tetons and getting ready to go into Yellowstone, we really have to be bear aware. We really have to have our bear spray with us all the time.